Hi guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be unboxing these three boxes from Your Creative Studio. Now the first one I'm pretty sure is the May box. So I've got May, June, July. I'll have to double check that but I'm pretty sure these are the three boxes I've got in front of me. Um, now the reason why I'm doing these reviews so late is because we had massive shipping delays because of COVID. So the May box didn't arrive until June and then I didn't actually get all three boxes until I went to my mother's house because all of my mail was being redirected while I moved houses. So today you've got the pleasure of watching me open all three on this video today which I thought would be really fun anyway. So let's jump right into the video and let's see what's goodies are inside of these boxes. So as I said, this box was sent in May, so I'm pretty sure this is the May box, but I will let you guys know in the description box if it's not. Now, the tissue paper's unfortunately ripped, but I think that was my fault because of moving houses. Um, but it's a very pretty blue. Now, the first thing I see on top are... Oh, it's a cute little sticker set. And as always, they do their own design, so this is your Creative Studio's little sticker set. So the next thing I see in this little tiny box is this cute um, cardboard box and oh I'm going to have to rip this because it's very very tight. It's a little stamp. Look at this teeny tiny stamp. I'm pretty sure it says to and from so it would go on the front of an envelope. Also sorry if you can hear some construction sounds in the background. I live right next to a computer construction site. Next we have some masking tape um, but it's pretty much the same as washi tape. Oh that's an interesting one it kind of looks like little mountains. I am going to do a little journal with me spread at the end so I'll show you all these products in detail. I'm just going to get rid of this blue So what is this? It's so small. Look how miniature this bag is. It's got a cute little sticker. I want to keep this bag so I'll try not to rip it. And inside it's got a little trinket and it says, oh I don't know what that says. All I can read is my you and then it says you again. So here's the little card. It's a little thank you card from Amanda. And it's just got the logo on the front as well, your creative studio. Let's see what's underneath this. Oh wow! They include... Wait, I'm going to have to take this out. Because I'm really excited to see this ink pen. So here's the beautiful feather and then as we move down you can see the intricate designing of the actual pen. It looks very real. <laughs> and then at the tip there, I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me put something behind it. Um, I'll just have to get some ink to use it. Alright, let's move this box out of the road. So I just took the rest of the products out of the packaging just so I can show you better. So this little to-do list, I just did a quick flip through, but it's just got some simple designs and you can rip it in half so you can write your to-dos at the top or at the bottom and then that middle paper gently rips off in the middle. We've also got some really, really thin washi tape, so I'll show you a close-up. So it's got days of the weeks and it's also got the months as well. This would be so pretty for a little bullet journal spread. I like this one a lot. It's really simplistic. Next we have two of these sticky note pads. Um, this one's just got a little guitar on it and the other one just looks like, it kind of looks like a piece of toast but I think it's meant to be yeah it says it on the top a page of old paper very very lovely so next we've got these little wax seals 
And I'm hoping these are going to be stickers. Yeah, they're stickers. I don't know how I feel about these because I make my own, but it would be nice to gift to someone who doesn't have like a little wax burner and melts. They're not too realistic, they're a bit fake looking, but they're still pretty cute. What's going on? So next we have the stamps. So these are just clear stamps. Um, and again, a bit of paper and also one of those ink pens with the feather on the top. I don't know if I actually use this much. This, this theme and style is really cute for antique, I mean not antique, sorry, vintage spreads, but I don't know how often I would actually use these. Maybe I could start like a vintage journal or something. So lastly are these papers, and again they look like old vintage papers. They're quite actually good quality these ones, they're quite thick. And then some see-through paper. And that is everything. So that's everything from this box. I would say my favourite things out of this box would be the sweet ass pen because it looks like it would come out of Harry Potter. <laughs> um, the stamp because I absolutely adore um, timber stamps and also the washi tapes are really cute out of this pack. So thank you. Let's do the second box now. It's so exciting opening up boxes of goodies. I love stationery. And these boxes are so satisfying. Now, I really, really like that Amanda has personalized my name in this little note. Like, even though it may just be printed out for everyone, it just has that nice feeling that it's like special and just for you when it's got your name on it. So thank you, that's a nice little touch. Now, this one looks like a copy. Oh, I don't know what's gonna be inside of this one. It doesn't really give it away that much but I really like the tissue paper, I'm gonna keep it. And it hasn't been wrecked. Oh my goodness, this one's so much different than the last couple of ones that I've opened. I think this is stamps, I'm really hoping they're stamps. We've got the little sticker set. Ooh, what are these? Stickers. We've got bookmarks. We've got little papers. This is a beautiful stamp. What is this? This is like a big goodie. Oh, I'm gonna have to figure that one out. That looks really cute. We've got a bookmark. I think it's gonna look like temporary tattoos, but I think they're stickers. We've got papers. Oh, another little daily planner. I, th I think these are just like sheets of paper though. Oh, there's something in here. <gasps> doilies! I love doilies, especially paper doilies. And then we've got beautiful papers. Well, these are cute. Okay, let's pop this box aside because it's hard to show it all um, in the box. So first up we've got these beautiful papers. Now these ones are a bit see-through and then these ones are on the back of the white paper on the back. Gorgeous. There's like images of these beautiful ladies and corsets and then these ones were little doilies paper doilies which I love I haven't had some of these in so long so I'm keen to use them we've got this little stamp here which is kind of like a little doily 
and then I'm so curious as to what's inside of this. I can't, well, I should be able to read Japanese. I studied it for like a million years. Fun fact, I studied Japanese throughout high school. I did it for my HSC and then I studied it throughout university and I still don't know how to speak it. But at this stage I should be able to read it, but it's just so hard. This could actually be Chinese, I'm not sure. It kind of looked Japanese-y, the writing though. Ah! What? What is this? It's a glue stick, I think. Oh my god, that's so weird. Was that out of focus that whole time? So I'm pretty sure you like screw it up here and then bring it back down. Well, I'm going to be using it as a glue stick. I hope it's a glue stick and it's not chapstick because <laughs> it's in a stationary box. I think that's the first time we've had a glue stick. I'm not sure. Very unique. I like it. Yes! The stamps. Very, very cute. Again, I don't really know if this is my exact style, but as I said, I do a lot of different themes. And a theme that I've done recently is Pride and Prejudice. So this actually would have probably been perfect for that. So yeah, it's really great to have like a diverse range of stationary products. Now I really like these, they're just papers, but I wanna write all of my addresses on these or even little thank you notes for my shop. But it's got beautiful patterns throughout all of these little papers. So as I showed you earlier, we've got two bookmarks. We've got the sticker set from Your Creative Studio. We have these loose stickers and on the back it shows all the different designs. I'm pretty sure that these are just more stickers. Some more papers and then on the back it also shows all the different designs. So again, these would be really cute for writing addresses or little thank you notes. And lastly, we have this little pad full of papers and it says daily plan on it. The thing that I love most about this box is that it's not one specific thing, like you're not just getting stamps or papers. It's a mixture of lots of different stationary bits and pieces. So if you're looking to um, start building up a stationary collection, this would be a great box to buy if you love that antique style. I feel like it's Christmas. <laughs> I've been opening up so many boxes. It's lovely. And again, she's got my name, Dear Brittany. And then there's a little thank you note. And there's beautiful flowers on this one. I love this green tissue paper as well. I hope this is a floral theme. Okay, let's rip it from the side. <gasps> oh, flowers. This is already so gorgeous. Okay, so the designs are beautiful flowers and butterflies. Oh, this one's really, really pretty. Okay. I just have to go straight for this one because I am obsessed. I think these are real flowers. Oh my goodness. I love that. I think my journal spread today is going to be floral. And we've got dried flowers. Well, these aren't dried flowers, but they look like dried flowers. Beautiful stickers of flowers. I've really been liking flowers at the moment. I don't know if you guys have picked that up from the last couple of videos, but botanical themes are my favorite at the moment. Oh, I love those. Okay, that's in a box. I'll open up one in a second. Ooh, I'm excited to get into that one. And the masking tape. We've got a little stamp. Well, this one's really heavy. I hope that's another stamp. What's inside of this one? I think these are pretty papers. Yes. They're like see-through vellum paper. And there's a few different designs. Oh, 
how pretty I love those oh and it's like a little travel stickers so we've got the trunk and the passport the compass and the feather oh the sticky notes it says at the bottom that's cute oh, I love these too so these also are sticky notes and I really really love this style of the um, it's like the London telephone box we've got like the old combi and camera and the little trunk I'm a sucker for a good trunk alrighty so what's in here I think this is the notepads we've been getting for the other ones but this one looks like it has a beautiful flower design on the front oh can you see the flower at the bottom there it's really delicate you can barely see it but there's a flower on the bottom and then a flower on the top and then we've got these beautiful papers they're so delicate they look handmade and we've got how many of these one two so there's four of them and they've got dried flowers in them all right let's put the box aside because we've got these goodies to still open so this is what we had inside I love this pattern here because it looks like it's been stamped on with a rubber stamp and then at the bottom we have this cute little square that looks like a little timber photo frame next I think these let me just see if these are stickers I oh, know they're little bits of paper but they're very delicate they're super super thin let me show you the designs oh these ones have little, little sayings on them about spring flowers I think I'm gonna use these up pretty quick as well <laughs> all right and then we've got some washi tape so the washi tape looks like it's got half a book kind of ripped on the side there so it looks very vintagey is that a word vintagey <laughs> I don't think so and then we've got these two beautiful rubber stamps I really enjoyed opening this one. This is definitely more my theme. Although I like all the boxes that your creative studio creates, this one I can definitely see me using like instantly. <laughs> like I can probably do a journal spread with everything in here and use it up very quickly. So I love this, thank you. I'll show you everything that was inside again. So here is everything that's inside this box today. Um, as I said, I really enjoyed opening all three boxes and for the rest of this video, I'm just going to mess around with all the products and create a few journal spreads. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!